Mohammad Ashraf's uncle, Mohideen Jifri, died of COVID-19 on November 26. The Sri Lankan government cremates the bodies of anyone who dies of COVID-19, even if it's a suspected case. It says its technical experts have advised this is the best way to prevent the spread of the virus. But cremation is forbidden in Islam, and some families are now refusing to collect the bodies in protest. We obey the law, therefore you do whatever you want. We don't come for any of these things. We leave the body with you and we will walk away. A number of other Muslims are also refusing to pick up the remains of their relatives. On Tuesday, the Supreme Court dismissed 11 petitions challenging the forced cremations. A joint statement by 20 civil society organizations on Thursday rejected the ruling, saying in a statement, the fate the victims of forced cremation of COVID-19 or COVID-19 suspected dead had in the highest court in Sri Lanka has been shattered. Victims and communities are now left without a recourse in Sri Lanka for the continued injustice they suffer. The health minister says burials can't be allowed until the technical experts committee presents its final decision after conducting an in-depth study into the virus. Muslim activist Shreen Sarur says her community has lost patience and will continue to leave bodies, or janazas as they're called here, at the morgue until the cremation stop. Almost eight months the Muslim community has been asking answer from the government. So they are fed up. Uh, they don't trust the government anymore. They feel that it is a punishment. So they don't want to be part of this process at all. So therefore they are just leaving the janazas. And I've been told um, at least two or three hospitals, Muslim janazas are piling up. Government spokesman Kehelia Ramukwala says the decision to cremate lies solely with the experts' committee. No, no, the government has nothing to do with it, in short. It is the expert committee that decides finally. So government, government is the cabinet of ministers, the president, prime minister, and the cabinet term minister, and nothing to do with it. It is just that we, re, we are relating and we are acting in, in terms of the advice given by the, um, the, the expert committee. But cases like that of Fatima Renuza, seen here in these pictures, are hard for the Muslim community to accept. The 44-year-old was cremated within hours of dying at the Infectious Diseases Hospital. The next day, the family was informed her test for COVID-19 was negative. Her son, seen here in this mobile phone footage, had the task of burying her ashes. Losing a loved one to COVID-19 is bad enough. But many Muslims say cremating their bodies is a fate worse than death. The government says all COVID victims are cremated on the advice of its technical experts committee and it can't make exceptions for any community. With infections and deaths rising rapidly, the dispute is far from over. Minna Fernandez, Al Jazeera, Colombo.